Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Willie with MIT Recreation. I'm here to teach proper push-up form, as well as give you a couple variations of a push-up to help elevate your work legs. So for today, with your proper form, I want to focus on two primary areas, your core and your arms. So for your core, the first thing I want you to focus on is keeping a nice, tight, and engaged core. This will help reduce any injuries that might happen to your back during the exercise. The next thing I want you to focus on is your shoulders. So proper shoulder position during a push-up is pulling your shoulders down and back, kind of puffing out your chest a little bit. And this will prevent any injuries from your shoulders, which are very susceptible to this exercise. After that, I want to focus on our arms and our hands. So the first thing with our arms is that I want the elbows around the midline of our chest, and this will help prevent any uh, injuries to the elbows, keeping them at a 45 degree angle from our bodies. After that come the hands. I want the hands nice and wide, splayed out to give proper uh, pressure throughout the entire exercise and keep those fingers pointed forward. The most important part of any exercise is keeping your form. That way we can reduce any risk of injury. The first variation that we want to show is a push up against the wall. Now this is just a great form check to have. Going to be against the wall, hands standing almost vertically, and just a simple push into the wall. The more and more that you feel comfortable with this, you can back your feet up, just providing more pressure into the hands. As soon as you do that, another variation to graduate from that previous one is to have your hands elevated on a box surface. That'll put even more pressure and more weight in your hands, allowing you to slowly transition into our next modified push-up, which is just from our knees. This will just keep on adding more and more pressure into those hands where we can quickly progress to a more traditional push-up onto our toes. As soon as you feel comfortable with your form in the more traditional push-up stance, you can begin to shift your focus to different muscle areas on your body. So if you want to target your chest more, a proper way to do that is to ensure that the elbow during the exercise stays in line with your wrist. A way to focus on more of a tricep area during your push-up is when you're doing your motion, have your elbow slide down further away from your wrist. And finally, to focus more on your shoulders, you want to keep on increasing the weight that you put above the body. And you can do so by having your feet elevated or in a pike position. A key takeaway from this is to maintain and control of your push up. A way that you can ensure to do this is to do nice and slow reps. That'll also increase muscle activation as you perform your workout and perform the exercise. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you soon.